that you were sent where you were needed, and I was sent in a Humber. I didn't like it at all. It was huge. I mean, how I find my way around that place, I'll never know. <laughs> but, but I did. But I didn't like it. And and do you know what I didn't like? I had to make the tea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but do you know, in a way, that was all right because Mrs. Kite. Uh, would give me anything that was left over, like a sandwich or a cake or <laughs> for nothing. I didn't pay for a cake or something. <laughs> Mrs. Kite would give it to me. But I had to wash the dishes up and all that sort of thing, you know. No, I didn't like that for a start. So one day, I thought, I've had enough of this. So I went to see Mr. Lyons, Lyons, in his big office, big chair, Big desk, everything big. <coughs> and little me. Not for me, not for him. I went, oh, I don't like this job. <laughs> <laughs> so he said something like, Well, what do you want to do? I want to do anything rather than this job. So he said, um, oh, well, I'll give you a letter to go to the employment exchange, which if you couldn't choose your job, it's wartime. You have to go where they send you. So I went to the employment exchange and they said, Oh, you've got the sums, aren't you? They said, You can go up to the cooperative insurance offices. So I did. Go up to them. There's Mr. Wilkie. Big desk, big office, big everything, and little me. And um, anyway, I had to fill in a form. And you know, on that wall was my political persuasion? I've no idea. So I'm not conservative. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> so I thought, and I got the job. I oh, no, it was, it was all right, actually. Stayed there some years. <laughs> I think when I was a girl, I was a bit of a devil with it. I, when I went to see John, first of all, they had a tablecloth on. A china cups, not at our house. You didn't, yeah. Mugs and bare scrub top tables. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, he's going to come and see my house one day. <clears throat> but I shouldn't have worried because it didn't matter that much to John what I had or what I didn't have. He pinched your beret, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He pinched your beret. Oh, oh, well, oh, yeah. I was about 16, and I was in St. John Ambulance Brigade, and I met John, because he was in the boys' division, I think, yeah. He was a sergeant, and I was a sergeant, yeah, how about that? I was a cadet officer as well. <laughs> and then, uh, when we were both sergeants, we used to do lots of social evenings together, and then one day he walked me home. Oh, he was going out with my best friend. <laughs> Just, yeah. I'm all coming out now. All coming out now. Yeah. And she was too tiny. Oh, yeah. And I knew. <laughs> so I thought, oh well, I've got to the chance here. <laughs> and that's how I met John. And then he had to go in the Navy. You know, at 18, there was a conscription where you had no option. He was an apprentice to a waiter, and he got deferred for six months. But he still had to go in the end, so he said, that six months was a waste of time. I might just as well have been in the Navy and done it. He had no choice. And when it was his turn for conscription, he got his papers. And, uh, he had to sit a paper at Burma and they said, Royal Navy for you, please get off. So I feel, and he really did like it actually. In fact, if it hadn't been for me, he probably would have stayed in. Yeah, I was it. Good job he didn't. <laughs> and then um, when he came out of the Navy, he still had uh, about two years to do apprenticeship to things, and we finished that. <coughs> and then, shortly afterwards, he decided he'd like to teach, because he was teaching apprentices 
when they said, oh, you look at that, you should lecture. And so he went to Birmingham University to do his teaching, uh, Wolverhampton, where it's all part of Birmingham, to do his teaching degree. Um, uh, he taught um, engineering. Um, but unfortunately, he died at 56, very young, and, uh, and it was so quick. Um, long time ago. Uh, yeah. He taught at Henley College, didn't he? Henley, Henley College, he was lecturing at in yeah. engineering. He taught at Henley College, yeah. 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 Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And they had an award in his name, didn't they, for a few years afterwards? Yeah. yeah. And um, it wasn't for the person who'd done the best, it was the person who tried the hardest. It was. The award was for the uh, for the chap who tried the hardest. The oh student, yes, yes. Not the yeah. one who necessarily was the best at everything. Yeah. They decided to um, make an award in John's name, and but it wasn't for the brightest boy. It was for the one that tried the hardest. Um, because John said there were a lot of boys that really tried very hard, but just hadn't got it. You know, and you know, he was always for the younger dog, wasn't he? <laughs> always for the younger dog. Uh, and I remember one night uh, a boy came to our house um, to see John with his homework. He said he was so worried about his homework. He said to John, well, "Can you help me? Can you help me?" He said, <laughs> and and John did. That's the sort of thing he did. Rescued a chap who had made made homeless as well, didn't he? Yeah. Rescued a, a chap who was made homeless. Remember the boy that came in to show up? Oh yeah. John was always early at the college, and uh, one morning he was there quite early, and there was a boy uh, in the porch, uh, and unwashed. He travelled. He had a rough night, and he told John that his father had thrown him out, his stepfather had thrown him out that night and he'd been sleeping well. So John took him to the refectory and gave him a, um, a meal, uh, a breakfast, and the lady who took charge of him took him home and kept him. Uh, so, you know, that was... Um, okay. mm -hmm. uh, but that's the sort of thing John would do, isn't it? Yeah, make sure he was all right. And he came back to the house a few years later. Yes, he did. And said how well he got on. He'd done really well. He was married and uh, got a good job. And she came to see John. Yeah, I thought that was nice.